Shalom, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, and double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that taught us this word. I just want to talk about, you know, our people, Israel, and how they don't know the Lord. You know, they don't know what the Lord is about and who he is. Scriptures say that he's a man of war. You know, scriptures say, if evil be done in the city, have I not done it? You know, the people are twisted up by all these different these, these doctrines out here, these different religions, and they don't know the Most High, nor do they want to know the Most High, because you've got the prophets out there on the streets teaching this word, and, you know, they don't, they scarf, or they don't pay attention. They don't want to know the Lord. So, therefore, you know, two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. Um, but yet, you know, our people, we have that, that zeal, but not according to knowledge. This is a Romans 10 and 2. I'll start at 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal for the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Yeah. Our people are the main ones, you know, in the churches on Sundays. You know, dancing around. You know, Baptists, Southern Baptists, you know, Seven Day Adventists, all these different. You know, religions, these doctrines out here, our people are the main ones in them because they have that zeal, but not according to knowledge. They don't know the Most High, you know. Next scripture is uh, Amos 3 and 1. Here is the word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family that I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities. Yeah, so that's why we're catching the hell that we're catching now. You know, that's why we went into slavery, you know, because of our iniquities. You know, we didn't we didn't know the Most High. We didn't want we chased after the gods. You know, we served after false gods. You know, got caught up in other religions, other doctrines. You know, we turned our faces from the Most High, and He knew who we are. He brought us out of Egypt. You know. Or his people, but we turn our backs on the Most High, you know, chasing after the gods and whatnot. So that's why the Most High is punishing us. That's why we're at the bottom of the barrel. You know, that's why we lost our land and our heritage and all that. You know, because we didn't know the Most High and we turned our backs on the Most High. But uh, this is next scripture is Isaiah forty-five and four. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, thou hast not known me. Yeah, there is no God other than the Most High, you know, all these different gods, and idols that our people are into. And there is no God but you know, the Most High of Israel, Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no other God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. You know, the Most High keeps repeating himself, man. But our people are, are hard-headed, stiff-necked. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. <laughs> I am the Lord. I, the Lord, do all these things. And so our people don't know the Most High, man. As the scriptures say, no sod is children, you know. That's why you have to fear, fear the Lord, man. He creates the evil, and he makes the peace. Yeah, it's because the deceiver and the deceived are his. He creates darkness and the light, you know. There's none other than Yahweh, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man.
That scripture is uh, Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sought as children and have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do, but to do good, they have no knowledge. They are very wise to do evil, man. They're just sought as children, worshiping other gods, getting caught up in all these, these doctrines, these religions out here, commit adultery, not coming back to the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability, you know. They don't want to know the name. Tell them the name. They don't want to know it. You have guys that know the name, that used to teach in the name. Now they're teaching other names, false names now. For our people is foolish. They have not known me. They're sottish children and have none understanding. And that's why the Most High just has to take out two-thirds of our people, man. Just start over. Starting with his elect, man. He's going to deliver his elect and just start with over again with the elect, you know. So our people are just too far gone. Next scripture is uh, 2 Ezra 9 and 7. And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. And at the end of the day, our people just don't believe, man. They don't have that faith, you know. They don't have that true faith. They, they don't believe. Shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. That's the most high. I always had his elect, man. 7,000 men that didn't bow down to Baal, you know. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such in their life they... For such in their life have received benefits and have not known me. So you got guys out there, you know, sort of say, woe to them that receive their consolation, you know. Receive benefits in this life. You know, they're comfortable in this life. You know, they, some people, they prospered. Some Jakes are prospered. So they got comfortable. They receive these benefits and they, oh, they cast off the Most High, you know. They cast off Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. And they that have loathed my law, while they yet had liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it in this time we're living in now. And you got guys, you got our people out there that loathe the law. Tell them to grow their beard, they don't want to do it. Tell them to stop eating pork, they don't want to do it. Tell them to stop committing adultery, they don't want to do it. And now's the time for repentance, you know. Now's the time to come back the word you know how can a young man cleanse his way by taking heed to the word thereof and we're in that time now but they don't understand it and they despise it the same must know it after death by pain yeah time of Jacob's trouble right around the corner nuclear missiles right around the corner and those two-thirds are, are gonna have to know it you know they're gonna have to get cleansed through those missiles man they don't want to get cleansed now through the word so they're gonna have to, their spirits gonna have to get cleansed through those missiles or to some other painful death that the Most High has in store for them. The scripture is uh, Matthew 10 and 32. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. And that's what you need to be doing, man. Confessing the name Yahweh now aside before men, the highways and the byways, you know. So yeah, you know, most of our people, you know, they're gone, you know. They don't know the Lord. They don't want to know the Lord. And so, you know, the most, they're going to have to feel that death by pain. That's the only option. So with that, you know, Shalom.